Okay. What do you know? It's pirates. Don't make me laugh. Isn't this the third nerf to compass? Technically fourth? Compass started at eight provisions, by the way. Eight. <laughs> Now, after this balance council, is probably going to be 12. That actually makes it... M that would make it more nerfed than Muta Generator, more nerfed than Temple of Militale. That's actually kind of crazy. If you think about it that way, that's actually ridiculous. So we have a lot of... Okay. Pirates, right? I think if I open Coral first, he might actually have some difficulty killing her right away. Be amusing. I think we just click this and take the extra one point. Tempo! COC on Coral. <laughs> okay, then. All righty. COC on Coral. Hmm. Let's go, Maxi. <laughs> Okay, we're getting a crow and we're getting Quen. And, and then Crow Mother is next. This looks fine. The problem with this is we don't get Darren. Hmm. I think I'm keeping. So when people want to nerf something by more than one provision, is it a multiple season endeavor? Yes, it is. Same with buffing. You got you like fishes. Okay. I think we play. I think we leader Crow Mama. Since we're not getting the Darren until round three, I think we leader Crow Mama here. Uh, it might be too much though. Like, we're so far ahead. We're so far ahead, but uh. I think we're still doing it. Locking it in. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. We're discarding this and this. A bite. Just one more so far it feels like the hardest part of this balance council is what to decrease the power of. That's the that's the hardest part of every balance council. What to decrease the power of. Oh, oh, he's taking a random discard. <laughs> Goodbye, Terror of the Seas. Goodbye, Terror of the Seas. Nice knowing ya. I'm gonna thin the Crow Messenger. And now we're drawing into Bear Witcher, Decoction, COC, and then Demon Pirate, Bear Witcher again. I'm still one short from drawing the Darren. I do think I need to draw the Darren in order to get Compass in round two. Oh, Hmm. Let me think. We're thinning to four, or we're going to four in round two. Then we need to thin two more. We thin one with Quen. And then I guess we could thin one with Dim and Pirate. 
Okay. Then that's fine. We can thin one with the Rune Fire. Hey, Lirio! What's going on? Nice to see you, Lirio. I'm gonna open up space. This deck has my highest win rate this season. Nice, Le Lemoroan. Good to hear. This deck, Karma, is all about tempo, discard, thinning, and trying to play Magic Compass for Legendary maybe twice. And I think that's what we're gonna get this game, is we're gonna get to play it twice. Push notification only 16 minutes late. It's okay, we're on our first game. Hey, Professor. Been enjoying getting back into Gwent. Nice. Whenever I do, your list and channel are always the first I've hit. 14-0 win streak at the lower ranks with Syndicate. Nice. That's huge, Professor. Hey, Kafka. Good to see you. Okay. Um, We're going to mulligan the Bear Witcher. And then we need to keep the Pirate. And I guess we should mulligan... Uh... Freya? Freya would be crows. Next card is Bear Witcher. Maybe we leave the Bear Witcher there. Maybe we leave the Bear Witcher there because I need to... Okay, yeah, because I need to Dimmon Pirate. I need to play Dimmon Pirate to discard a card, which might discard a Bear Witcher. If I if I took another Mulligan and Mulligan into the, the Bear Witcher, I would only have one Bear Witcher in the deck. And then if, when I play the Pirate, I have a chance of discarding that Bear Witcher and then breaking my Quen. Here, it's guaranteed to discard a Bear Witcher, but at least there's two in the deck. So I think that's what we do. We open this, got. discard that. Uh, maybe I should have opened with like Freya's uh, Freya into Crow Messenger first, so I'm staying a little bit shorter. Maybe we could have taken a Curse of Corruption. Now we can't really play the Curse of Corruption. We gotta th we gotta play two more cards before we can play Quen, and then we want to play Compass for for who knows what. For who knows what. So the other two cards that we want to play, one is going to be Freya's Blessing, and the other one, maybe Decoction. Can he hurt himself? I mean... Not really. Dimmon Smuggler can self-ping, but if he's using two self-pings on Dimmon Smuggler, it's not really worth it. Is the blaze target usually a pirate or a witcher? It's usually pirate or bear. Raging bear. Raging bear is not is banished now because I frayed it earlier. But it's usually pirate or raging bear. Mm. Like I hesitate. I want to play Crow Messenger, but if I play Crow Messenger on the front row, he's going to probably um, cataclysm it. I don't want to play into the cataclysm. So I think we're... I think we're going to wait is patient, but and she do this. No this is good. We get a little bit of Commander's Horn, and then we could go like Quen as a gold, Bear Witcher as a gold, or Bear Witcher as a bronze, Quen as a gold, get like maybe 14 points from the Commander's Horn. Yeah, um, Blaze of Glory, backup targets are Crow Mother, Morkfarg, but usually you... I rarely have to Blaze of Glory, Crow Mother, or Morkfarg, because there's also the Darren. Oh, and the uh, Birna and Coral that can discard those two cards. Hmm, that's annoying. The Giga Scorpion decoction doesn't kill it. It's quite annoying. I do think we kill that so that he doesn't have a boat. Nice, it buffs the wolves, make it harder for him to get the wolves back over to his side. Is self-wound SK deck still good? It's still decent. I don't see it much on ladder anymore, but there was someone playing it in the tournament recently, and it looked like this in the tournament. There's a couple different variations. Okay, Quen is ready. What are we going to compass? 
chat. I could go Fakusia Bear Witcher. That's annoying. Oh god, I have nothing to hit with my Bear Witcher. <laughs> I have to hit his Queen's Guard. You've got the heart of an this can self ping, but the Queen's Guard needs to go to Berserk 3. It's actually super annoying. I don't want to play this for 5 points. But I think I I think basically I'm going to have to go I think I have to go Quen. Like I probably still have to play Quen here and then just hit this. Cuz I have nothing to play. Or I could pass. We could pass and just play one compass. Is this my normal streaming time now? Yeah. Fairly fairly Damn consistent. It. All that dancing around. It's not for me. I mean, we could now compass for, like, um, Hjalmar or something. Compass for Hjalmar to kill the croc. Compass for Sea Wolf to kill the croc. Probably Hjalmar's better. I'm having trouble with this Commander's Horn, though. Maybe it can be a round three card. Because we have Axel in round three. Alpha and Ninja Soup has some fun RNG. It played for over 40 points for me when you got Igni with it. Yeah, I ended up taking Alpha and Onion Soup out, as you can maybe tell. I replaced it with a second Freya to try it out. Ooh. There's another boat. I would like to kill the boat, but... I don't know if we can... Like, we could kill it with... Sea Wolf? And then he's actually out of boats? This is his last boat. Whew. Huh. Is that worth it? This is actually his last boat. He can't get any more boats until he plays Compass. So I think it'll make... Th I think it'll make th his life the most awkward if we kill it. And the best way to kill it, I believe, is Seawolf. And then I probably have to pass. But now he's playing like these smugglers for five points less. Now we pass, and uh, I just need to kill one more boat that he res that he gets from Compass. If he wants to get Compass, he might go like Fakusia into boat from Compass, and then we just kill that one. I guess he only has one smuggler left and one pirate left. Ah, oh, okay. So here, yeah. oh, we've got the carryover. He doesn't really have much carryover. He has a Bjorn. He has a Bjorn, a pirate, a smuggler. Two Corsairs and a Heat Wave and like one more card, maybe an Abortage. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Which card do I not want? Decoction. I think it's decoction, right? I... Well, compass... Maybe it's Darren? I, I think it's decoction, though. Like, if he reses a... Okay, so he got rid of the other... So we don't need to kill the boat anymore. He doesn't really have much de boat dependency. This is going to be a COC. He has a compass, we have a compass. We have last say. He goes compass now. For what scenario? We should know all of his cards at this point. We should know every single one of his cards at this point. 
He combied. He combied. <laughs> he combied our Darren. And what did he put into his own graveyard? He put a Corsair into his graveyard? So he has another Corsair. He has a Bjorn. And he has a Heat Wave. All extremely... Um, yeah. All extremely... Uh, reactive cards. Combi back, no balls. No, screw that. I'm not combing back. We're not combing back. We should just win off of value here. He's going to want a Corsair here, maybe leader, and then... No. But I see. Really? Not on any maps. Really? Oh, really? Sacrifices must be made on both sides. <laughs> Did he? Where's his second Corsair? Why doesn't he want to play a second? Oh, there it is. Death sails in circles. <laughs> Why is he trying to kill the Crow Mother? And then Heat Wave. Where are your points? Where are your points? Oh man, so satisfying. Is this not the most satisfying thing? Playing against a net deck and just knowing every single card they play and knowing exactly what they have and just obliterating them by 33 points and getting to execute your own strategy well as well, like getting the, the, the double compass, the compass in round two and the compass in round three. What a great, what a great game. I love Gwent. <laughs>